When I was a kid, man, I wanted to be an astronaut so bad. <laughs> and I wanted to be a marine biologist. Then I wanted to go into political science. I always had some grand dreams. My name is Sarah Blevins, and I am from Knoxville, Tennessee. I have always had a passion for technology, always. But I went to a small school in a rural area. The extent of our technical exposure was playing Oregon Trail on old computers. And so <laughs> it was few and far between when I had access to those things. But when I did, it was like Christmas. I didn't even have a computer in my house until 2010. I completed my bachelor's in February and it took me 18 years <laughs> Sorry to laugh. It just sounds like a long time when I say it out loud. <laughs> Someone close to me was an engineer, and they always told me, you think like an engineer. I was sitting in my room, and they were pointing out, this is HTML, this is a tag. I remember the moment vividly, and I thought, this is it. This is what I was meant to do. I found out that Udacity and Google are offering developer scholarships. And right then I filled it out and I sent it off. I thought if I get this, my whole world could change. I am learning front end web development. I love the structure of the Udacity Challenge course. I love that there's a live coding environment. There are forums you can network with your peers. I can basically fit in 15 minute increments if that's what I need to do. I can do it at night after I put the boys to bed. There have been times I, I have said to myself, okay, right foot next, left foot next. We work together as a family to make sure I have time. Sometimes I'll say, you know, guys, I really need your help tonight because mom has some things to do for that's gonna better our lives. I get so into it. Sometimes I have to remind myself to go to bed because I have to go to work the next day. <laughs> I love the feeling of exhaustion that comes from working myself mentally and solving problems and code, code caters to that. It pushes what I'm capable of and I love it. I have been told that it isn't feminine to be in science or technology or math and I reject that. It makes me feel powerful to be able to help build the world that I live in. And that's what being able to program does for you.